So hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of the Max Jenkar show. In this video, what we're gonna do is we're going to rank a couple of eggs back coaches that are very popular at the moment, or at least semi-popular. Now please, take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is only my personal opinion, and these are my competitors, my direct competitors. But without any further ado... Let's get right into it. Let's get right into the whole thing. So first on our list, we have the good old Coach Lee. Coach Lee is probably one of the bigger Angsback coaches right now in the industry. And he, for the most part, gives really good advice. I think that he even transitioned or pivoted at the moment to teaching other eggs back and break up coaches, how to be better eggs back and break up coaches, which I think is quite commendable. Overall, he does give for the money you pay him for his product specifically an average experience. So that's gonna that's gonna knock him down a few notches in my book. Although the content that he gives out is pretty informative and the coaching that he does, I heard a lot of good stuff from it. He also is a proponent for the same thing that I am a proponent of, which is the indefinite no contact rule, meaning you don't wait a certain day, a certain amount of days, and then reach out to your ex with some pre-prepared text messages. However, you wait or actually you move on and only give them another shot when they reach out first, which I think is the healthiest and most effective approach to reattraction in general. Therefore, I would easily give Coach Lee a solid B. Next off on our list is Clay Andrews. Now this one is a doozy. I like to think of him as a wolf in sheep's clothing and as a really good politician. He is a master at talking a lot without saying anything. The reason I don't like the guy and I don't like what he preaches is because, first of all, he promotes this active no-contact rule, which is basically just like the 30-day no-contact or the 45 or whatever day no-contact, where you're expected to chase after an ex after you guys have broken up, which I don't think is effective, and I think the only reason he tells you this is because, like, every other coach who talks about or promotes the ex day no-contact rule, it's because it's what you want to hear, it's what it is what feels good to hear, and it is what sells more get uh, get your ex back products and coaching calls than the uncomfortable truth, which is, like I said, that once you get dumped or once you break up, you should give your ex this space, and the only time you should give them a chance is when they reach out first, in which case you set a date with them and start the reattraction process. Now, there are also other things that I think he preaches that are full of shit. For example, his reactance theory, his takes on the stages of a breakup also, or the stages of getting back with an ex to be more specific. I think that's total bullshit. His take on uh, your ex actually still being attractive for you, attracted to you, but that attraction is somehow blocked by negative emotions. I think all that shit is a gimmick, it's a lie. And it's just something he leveraged so he can become more unique and different in the whole X-Back industry. So he's a very good entrepreneur, although a relatively unethical one, if you ask me, in my personal opinion. That said, to give him some credit, he does teach a lot of great stuff as well. For example, what he calls the advanced relational skills which he hints at at every video, and the only way to learn more about it and more about these skills is to actually buy his courses, which is a business approach that I don't like, so withholding information like that and kind of dangling it in front of you to get you to uh, to buy his paid stuff, I don't like that. However, the advanced relational skills themselves really, really useful, very good, and they're basically like becoming more self-aware, connecting better with your ex or with just about anyone, and standing up for yourself or be, or basically becoming better at boundaries. Great shit. Everyone should learn that, probably. 
And there are like many other ways, many other sources where you can learn more about these skills that are, I think, way better than Clay Andrews ever will be. However, he is still a C tier. I'm not going to go, no, I'm just going to put him in the C tier right here. There's just too many negatives overall to put him any higher. Then we have Jack from Man's Breakup. Um, This is an easy A tier. Jack, I love his content. Uh, He is not that popular on YouTube, I don't think. I think he has a YouTube channel. I just haven't checked for a long time uh, what he's been posting there. But he does have a blog uh, called, I think, Men's Breakup. And it's a really good resource. It has a lot of really insightful articles. He's basically the Corey Wayne, which we will get to, as you can see here a little bit later. He is basically the equivalent of Corey Wayne, but for people who want to get over an ex or get them back. Really good advice. He does, to be fair, teach only men, and he targets his content towards men only. So he's not going to be applicable for everyone watching this video, for everyone tuning into this podcast. However, he still, for those of you that are guys, a really, really great resource that you should definitely check out. Then we have Dan Bacon, instant, instant, no, I'm not going to put it, instant D. Dan Bacon is probably one of the worst X-Back coaches on the market right now, I think. Um, He is very predatory, both in terms of his approach to getting an X-Back, which I think is going to lead you to a restraining order. Uh, He's big on playing games, playing hard to get, manipulation. He's also big on being predatory in fucking marketing. He makes a whole bunch of guarantees like, hey, my program is guaranteed to get your eggs back. He literally says that in the copy, as at least that was the case about a month when I looked at his website. He is the type of person who makes getting an eggs back seem really easy. He's the type of person who will clickbait uh, people, um, desperate men, to go watch his video by putting on, by putting the um, really hot, hot women in very revealing clothing on the thumbnails of his videos. Like, that's the type of people I guess he is targeting. Very immature, very desperate men. Again, this is a, uh, this is a expert coach that specifically helps out men. Although, help out, I would, I, I could easily argue on that front a bit more, but yeah, I'm just gonna say don't tune into this guy's content, please do yourself a favor. Uh, next off, we have Magnet of Success. Now, this is another person that I don't think is very active on YouTube, but he is very active. I think his name is Jean or Zan, uh, depending on how you want to pronounce that. He is very active on the blogosphere. He's a blogger and he gives a lot of great articles that can easily, I would put him in a B tier. Now he puts out great advice, but I will admit his articles are too SEO optimized. Now for people who don't know what that means is that they contain a lot of fluff and useless information. And I read a lot of them, by the way. Uh, just so they get ranked higher in the search results, which is how you basically get clients as a blogger in this industry. This is what I do as well sometimes, and I as well sometimes overdo the optimization and include a bunch of irrelevant information in certain articles. I try to do less of that from, uh, obviously, I try to do less of that in general, but I know I had a period like two years ago when I also did the same thing. So, He gives great advice. He gives very healthy advice. He's also active in the comment section below his blog, which is great. Um, His prices are very fair, if you ask me. I just don't like that he he has a lot of fluff in his articles, and you can see a lot of topics repeat on his blog, which, again, is a great entrepreneurship move for those who are uh, well-versed in how to grow a blog in online marketing, I guess, However, from a just like a, a user standpoint, your average user reader standpoint, it can get a little bit confusing, a little bit annoying and tedious at times. Uh, Chris Sider is our next person on the list. Insta, Insta D. I also, I don't like what he preaches. Very much a person 
in favor of manipulation and playing hard to get and using and waiting like X amount of days and then reaching out to an ex with some pre-prepared fake text message. Um, I I don't I don't like. He's basically just a carbon copy of Brad Brown and this guy right here. And he teaches, I don't think he brings anything, absolutely anything new or useful to the table. He's just like your OG Brad Browning, who basically, by the way, fun fact, started the whole um, 30-day no contact rule thing. He started uh, with the whole text your ex back sub niche. And actually, you know what, since we're already on the topic of Brad, good old Browning, uh, let's rank him before all the other ones, and it's an insta-D as well. Like, don't avoid these people at all costs. They are in it only for the money. They are going to scam you out of your money. They are what I call fake gurus. These three here, for example. Overhyped claims, a lot of really bad advice that you want to hear, that feels good to hear, and that sells well, but it's not accurate, it's not true, and it's not... They don't give advice with your best interest in mind. The Love Chat, Rory from The Love Chat, Insta S, my favorite creator by far in the ex back niche. Uh, I, I copy a lot of his work, a lot of his, not work, but like his message, um, which you can probably notice sometimes. Great guy overall, very fair prices, probably one of the best breakup coaches, uh, experts, whatever you want to call these people in the industry right now. I wish I can talk to him one day. He seems like a really cool dude. Um, same thing with, with Craig Kenneth, Insta S tier. Uh, the one thing that really separates Craig Kenneth, he's a very he has a very unique spot in this eggs bag breakup industry. He's actually the most qualified person, I think, in here by far. He is a psychotherapist, I think, a behavioral analyst, and he really focuses a lot on what's called attachment theory, which is a theory that can explain a lot about why your relationship failed, why some relationships succeed, and why yours didn't, and why you're having certain experiences after a breakup that you are having. It's a very unique angle that he's taken, a very psychotherapy-driven based angle, and I just love it. It's very accurate. It's very realistic advice. The only thing that I have a gripe with Craig Kenneth is the insane prices for coaching. Like, I think he charges, I don't know, like 400 bucks an hour or something, which is bizarre for me. But hey, you're, you are definitely getting your money's worth, if you ask me as well. Uh, this is then jo Jeffrey, Jeffrey Sidewan. I think I pronounced it correctly. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So sorry. I will put him in a, in a C tier. I, full transparency, I actually talked to him when I was just starting my business on a Skype call and he gave me some really good advice on how to go about my business. He actually, you know what, I'm going to give him a B. Maybe I'm a little bit biased, but hear me out. I think the advice that he gives is incredibly effective and true and with your best interest in mind. His advice is really good. It's also fair to say that he's not that much of an ex back coach as he is as a coach that coaches people, <laughs> that's a mouthful, that coaches people on how to save a relationship that's nearing a breakup or nearing a divorce, yet is not quite there yet. Now, to be fair, what bugs me about him is not at all about what he preaches. What he preaches is excellent, excellent. What bugs me is the business model. He is the only one out of these people that has the business model, model of, hey, get on a discovery call with me with or with one of my um, coaches or reps or whatever, one of my assistants, I don't know how he calls them, and let's see if my program, the Revival Something Something program, is a good fit. Now, I know coming from a salesmanship background that this is just a sales call in disguise. And what he will do is that when you get on a discovery call with him to evaluate your situation, you're going to get a salesman on the other side or a saleswoman. And you're going to be sold on his two to three thousand uh, dollar online program, which I don't think is is I, I honestly think that's probably 
a big, a massive scam. Like I'll be hands down honest with you. I love, I love what he teaches. The business model feels such a scam to me. To even give like more than a grand for an online course with group coaching, of course, but still an online course with group coaching, uh, to give that amount of money and to be sold that kind of a course, such a high ticket course via a sales guy or a sales girl on a phone call, I think that's scammy. And that's why otherwise I could easily put him at at an S tier if he would have like an ethical business model in my book, but I'm just going to leave him at a B tier. Great advice. Tune into his video. Just don't buy his stuff because it's not worth it. And finally, Coach Corey Wayne, easy S tier. This is the godfather of life coaching, of pickup relationship skills. Um, You can probably also guess that this is the person that I uh, stole the most information from when I was getting my start. Uh, Even though now I have a lot of gripes, a lot of issues with some of his advice, I don't believe that men and women are so much different anymore. I think his advice is still a little bit uh, too much on the side of game playing. However, I think it's very effective. Just to be clear, this is again a person who teaches, I think, only men uh, relationship and breakup and ex back advice. Although he also coaches some women. They are in the minority uh, regardless though. The only thing I will say, and like another, well, not the only thing, two additional cons of Corey Wayne is that he charges insane price prices. He charges like a grand and 200 bucks or something. So $1,200 an hour. And he is a little bit chauvinistic. I think he's a little bit full of himself, which personally it rubbed me the wrong way when I was growing up and when I was getting a little bit out of the phase where I just needed a father figure, an online father figure, which he was for a time, as uh, funny as it to admit. Uh, So yeah, that might push away a few people, but overall his advice is golden. His business model is, even though the the prices are high, it's justifiable because he literally gives all of his best stuff away for free and he only charges for one-on-one coaching. You can even get his entire book for free on his website, which you 100% 100% must grab. It's a great read altogether. So that's it. Those are what I think are the coaches in our little x industry ranked. This is the tier list of them. Hope you found this video insightful and see you in the next one. See you in the next episode. Take care, guys and gals, and hang in there.